it's Denise welcome back to my channel today's plan with me will be the week that I traveled to San Diego which was in the beginning of October so I'm quite behind on my videos but what's new first I'm going to flip back and show you the spread that is my latest plan with me so I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in watching that so for this week I'm going to be using an SPC kit that I got off of a Facebook group called we love EC marketplace and this is the August mystery kit and it's the mini version. So I have a couple of pages I'm flipping through right now. And ever since attending the SBC planner party, I've been warming up to using glossy paper more. I'm going to be using this marking pen that is permanent and I got that from a friend of mine, Sherry Planning Peep, who went to Taiwan this year and sent me that. And I'm also using this new pen that I got from Japantown and it's the Sarasa clip pen and it is the one that's supposed to dry really quick so I'm hoping that it'll work really well on my planner. So I already placed down the bottom washi and now I'm moving to the sidebar and in the thankful thoughts section I usually use the quote box that comes with the kit but I didn't like this one that much so instead I'm going to take this brush pen and I'm lettering San Diego on some leftover sticker paper. Next, I just cut out the words with my scissors and I'm taking some of the deco stickers and rearranging it until I like the placement. Once I'm happy with that, I just move on to my usual sidebar stickers. I put down a This Week header and then underneath that, I use the habit trackers to track my skincare and reading. I took one of these solid washi strips and I wrote Happy Mail and then I used one of the full box ombre checklists to write down all the packages that I was receiving that week. Now moving on to the days of the week, I'm going to be placing down three colors of the sequin headers that came with the kits, and I really like this texture. It's different and refreshing versus the usual glitter headers that come with the kit, so I hope that Scribble Prince Co. uses them in more future kits. So I picked the minty green, the periwinkle mid-tone blue, and the pastel purple shade, and I'm just placing them on top of the black and gray headers, and I'm doing it in an alternating pattern to balance out all of the colors in the spread. Starting with Monday, I placed down a purple sequined full box and I'm trying to make sure that the headers on top and below it don't match it. And of course I had to start with coffee for the week. So I placed down the Coffee Monday sticker from my shop and then a coffee cup next to that. And I just got a pumpkin spice latte so I wrote that underneath with a little arrow pointing to the coffee cup. I work Monday to Friday, but I decided to fill up some of the space in the full box with a work hand lettered sticker from my shop and then a laptop sticker from Honeydew Paper. This week I had a lot of orders that I wanted to put out before going on vacation. So I cut up one of the check flags and I put a printing cut sticker from my shop down. For dinner, Brian and I had Vietnamese food, so I wrote that on one of the little things label, and we watched an episode of Jane the Virgin, so I wrote that in another TV label. And then underneath that, I filled up some space with this really cute munchkin sticker from Once More with Love that is in front of a TV. After that, I wanted to work on some things, so I took a large computer monitor sticker from Toffee Bananas, and I wrote a couple of things I needed to get done, such as packing orders and planning for our trip. And then of course in between those tasks I watched some YouTube videos so I put a YouTube flag and binge watch sticker from my store at the bottom of the day. So Tuesday was payday so I placed down the payday flag from the freebie sheet and then I had to go to the post office so I wrote that with my gel pen and then I placed down an icon that has a little delivery box on it. That day when I went to Starbucks I decided to try a new drink to me anyways and it was the pumpkin spice chai latte and to me it tasted really good it was kind of like 
drinking a gingerbread cookie, like a spicy gingerbread cookie, and I really liked it, so I wrote it on one of the appointment labels, and then I put a coffee cup sticker from my shop on top of that. I placed a Mario the Marshmallow sticker from my shop in the blank space next to the payday flag, but I'm going to switch it out for something else later on. So in the middle section, I'm kind of struggling to place down this full box, but it's a really pretty mirror. And I don't think I mentioned this, but I believe Jessica from J. Crew Plans drew all of the clip art for this kit, so that is really cool and special. And I didn't want to take up too much space and cover up the really pretty drawing, so I just put the print and cut sticker at the bottom corner. I placed down a laptop icon and started a short to-do list. I put down a edit sticker and I needed to pick a giveaway winner, so I wrote that down. And then that night I watched an episode of Fuller House, so I used a TV label to mark that. And then there was a little bit of blank space at the bottom that annoyed me, so I used one of the thin washi strips to cover that up. Wednesday I made a student loan payment, so I stacked two of the pattern washi strips and then on top of that I layered this student loan due sticker from Wild Sunshine Co. So I think I've mentioned that I have a Starbucks that's next to my work, so it's really easy to get it, and yeah, I get it really often. So on Wednesday, I got Starbucks again, and I have a glitter coffee cup sticker from Mandy Dreams on top of a quarter label. Since I planned chronologically, I didn't have anything to fit in that small space, so I just used a work header to fill it up. I took the small three ombre heart checklist and I wrote a couple places that I needed to stop by after work. And then we also did laundry that night, so I wrote that in the third space. I really like using these small circle icons, so I took the one with the shopping cart and put it next to the grocery store. I worked on some more orders, so I took a print and cut sticker and a silhouette and layered that on top of the large page flag. I placed down the blue sequined full box, and that evening Brian and I went to go see a live show. Um, we had to go to Oakland, so we had to take the subway. So to mark that, I used the circle icon with the dollar bill since there wasn't anything really close to a subway ticket or anything. And then in a half box, I wrote that we saw Mr. Wives at the Fox Theater and I layered on top this happy munchkin head. The show was really good, um, but during the opener, I saw my first like live public proposal and it was really really cute the guy got on stage and then called out his now fiance so yeah it was really fun to see that so that is it for the first half of the spread now i'm just going to flip the planner over and put down the remaining sequin headers thursday mornings i usually have a team meeting and for some reason that day my coworker decided to bring a bunch of cake slices to eat for breakfast and I thought that was pretty funny, so I wanted to mark it in my planner. I put down a page flag and layered on top a cake sticker from my shop, and then underneath I wrote that we got cake for breakfast, and I used a heart icon next to that. After work, I got milk tea with a coworker, so I wrote that on a heart label and layered on top this milk tea sticker from my shop. Thursday night was basically the last time I could work on orders, so I needed to get all that done. I usually watch YouTube videos while I do that, so I wrote that on a TV label, and then I cut up one of the check flags and placed down a silhouette and print and cut sticker. For dinner, we got some quick Chinese food, and the SPC mini kits don't come with meal labels, so I just wrote it on one with the asterisk icon, and then after that, I needed to get ready because we had another show to go to that night. So I wrote that on one of the pattern washi strips. So that night, we saw my favorite comedian, which doesn't really mean much because I don't know many comedians, so the picking pool of favorite is quite small. But I think that he is always super hilarious, and his name is John Mulaney. He has a couple of stand-up shows on Netflix, so I would suggest you guys check him out and um, he was touring in the city so we definitely had to get tickets and it was just so amazing and fun to see him in person and our seats were pretty close so I got a pretty good view and we never went to the Davies Symphony Hall before so that was also nice to visit. Anyways, I used the movie marquee that came with the kit to mark that and then I also put a Maru that is laughing and crying um, sticker on top. After the show, we had to check into our flight for the next day, so I wrote that on a label and then I layered on top an alarm clock circle icon. Friday morning, I got more coffee, so I wrote that on a label and then I used a coffee cup sticker from Little Miss Papery. And then I took the munchkin in front of a laptop that came on the freebie sheet and put it in the middle of the full box. 
I placed down a mail icon to mark going to the post office during lunch. And then basically I rushed home straight after work because I didn't pack yet. And we had to leave by like 4.15 to catch our flight. So I was pretty rushed, but surprisingly I didn't forget to pack anything. So I wrote that on one of the labels and then I layered on top a suitcase sticker from Lily Pink Prints. I used a quarter box to mark our flight and I layered on top an airplane icon. So I wrote SFO, the airport that we flew out of, and then I took a brush pen and hand lettered the letters of the San Diego airport. So this San Diego trip was really special for Brian's family particularly because they're celebrating his parents' 30th anniversary. So it was just a really cute family trip and they were kind enough to invite me on it too. We met up with his parents at the car rental place, so I wrote that on one of the labels and layered on top the car icon. After that, we checked into the hotel, so I used a check-in sticker from my shop and layered the house icon on top of that. I didn't have space to mark it, but after that we picked up his younger brother and his girlfriend at the airport, and we stopped by Old Town, so I wrote that on some washi strips and I put the camera icon from Planneresque on top. Whenever I go on trips, I also like using these geotag stickers from Meowkaroons and Co, which is a shop that is closed now but is reopening soon. So yeah, we checked out Old Town and sadly a lot of the stores were closed, but there are some restaurants that were still opened and the lights were still lit and it was still really fun to walk around. So I'm glad we got a chance to do that, but maybe next time we'll go during the day when it's more lively. And then we got some super late dinner at Luce Libre, so I wrote that on a label and I layered on top the fork and spoon icon and that was our first like legit San Diegan taco experience and it was just really good. Saturday we woke up pretty early because we wanted to go to La Jolla, which I had a terrible time trying to pronounce because I kept saying La Jolla and I don't know, I, I knew in my head that it's pronounced La Jolla, but it took me a while to get used to it. Anyways, I first marked that we got breakfast at the hotel, so I used this breakfast cereal bowl sticker from my shop and I wrote that on the full box. And then underneath that I took a label and I wrote that we went to La Jolla and I used another geotag sticker. I like to mark the like very iconic spots and use the geotags. Saturday ended up being a super packed and fun day and there are so many things that I wanted to remember so I tried to squish everything up a little bit more but I still couldn't fit all the places I stopped by. But anyways we got some coffee when we went to La Jolla because I was super sleepy and so I wrote that on a label with the coffee cup sticker from my shop. For lunch we got some sandwiches at a place called She's Shop and so I wrote that on a label and then I put a fork and spoon sticker from my shop on top of that. Brian booked us a kayaking tour to see the sea cave so I'm writing that in one of the quarter boxes and then on top of that I put this Momo sticker from my shop that is wearing a bathing suit. Kayaking in the ocean was really fun so I would suggest you guys check that out if you ever visit San Diego and it was quite the workout. I was like extremely sore that night like my arms, my core, everything was pretty much in pain but anyways after kayaking I met up with some planner friends. Vanessa from Plans with Vanessa was kind enough to pick me up and then we went to go get some shaved snow at a place called Icy Monster. So I wrote that in one of the little labels and then I also met up with Shira from Love Shira and Manny from Manny Dreams. So it was really fun to finally meet them and we got to talk about things that actually weren't really planner related. So that was really nice and then I asked them all to write in this half box so I can remember that moment and then the planner emoji stickers are from the Coffee Monsters Co. Afterwards, Vanessa had to drive me back to meet up with Brian and his family, but we decided to get dinner together since I don't visit San Diego very often, plus Brian's family were already eating. So we went to a place called, I think it was called Pokerito, and we just got poke bowls. And after that, there were a lot of things that I didn't have space to mark, sadly. We got milk tea at a place called Kung Fu Tea, we went back to our hotel room and we played a couple of board games before going out. Brian, Vanessa, and I went to North Park to meet up with one of Brian's friends and we went to a really cool bar slash kind of club dance floor place and that was called Park and Rec. So I really had fun there. The drinks were really tasty. So I wrote that in one of the appointment labels and then I put the little partying celebrating munchkin on top of that. 
Shira and Manny met up with us later on in the night, and then we had some late night McDonald's, so I wrote that down and put a french fry sticker from my shop. So Saturday was so much fun, we really didn't expect to stay out that long, I thought we would be back by like 1am, but we ended up getting to bed at like 4am, and we had to go to the San Diego Zoo the next morning at like 8am, so that was really really rough for Brian and I, so I hand lettered San Diego Zoo in a half box and put another geotag sticker. The zoo was actually really amazing and super fun, but I felt so tired and like kind of hungover and just not feeling the best or the most energized to be at a zoo at the moment. So I used that hungover sticker from Once More With Love. And yeah, like I said, the zoo was really fun and it was really great to hear how all of their efforts are going towards like researching and repopulating endangered species. And yeah, it was a really big park. We didn't actually go to all the parts, so hopefully we can go back in the future. So Sunday night was our last night in San Diego, and Brian had scheduled a couple of surprises for his family. We were going to go out to a really nice dinner at a place called Island Prime, so I'm writing this in a half box, and I'm using a fork and spoon sticker from my shop. But then before that, we went to this kind of man-made island, I think, and we went on a gondola canal ride, so that was really fun and a sweet way to celebrate their anniversary. I'm also using this steak sticker from Happy Dye Stickers because it just matched perfectly with what we ate that evening, and right when we came back to the hotel, I fell asleep immediately, so I wrote sleep early in one of these little labels. Before showing the whole spread, I moved back to my sidebar to finish that up. In an appointment label, I wrote the book that I was reading that week and I used a book icon sticker from Honeydew Paper. Underneath that, I wanted to mark my favorite memory of that week, so I took some of the remaining washi strips and sequin headers and then I layered on top this half box from Honeydew Paper. Now that I'm done with the majority of the stickers, I'm going to zoom out and put all of the remaining deco stickers on the top of the page and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed watching this video, click the like button and subscribe for more. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to chat on there. Alright, so I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!